Me, Princess Angel here. Right. <clears throat> Welcome to another James and Bucket Play video. So today, guys, today we're gonna do the Lilo story quest. Last time we two signed those story quests, but already finished already. So I can't wait. Do we doing the Lilo story called the Lilo story quest called To the Wise? So we also some more some no. Chapter one, the two the lights. This and this little story because it's about the saving our, our, you know, the little stream. Go to the theater. Like they, they're gonna demolish the Korean vessels or something. So we have to find out. It's about debate, just like the in our place that before, like debate to save, you know, the uh, you know, you know, you know what happened. So yeah, if we have to find out. We're gonna do the little story quest right now. So, right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it to the switch my channel and click the bell button to try videos stuff like that. To be the base of one of your Instagram, TikTok, or anyone else. And also, before we get started, guys, I heard about this event called Arataki Blazed Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp, which is which is there from the away. But last time, like in Arataki Blazing Arataki like Beetle Battle. It's about like since Inazuma, since a uh, few months ago, since last year. So that I can't wait, but I'm not gonna do that. But until um they finish their story, then what? Let's let's let let me just see. Uh, if uh if I play this one, when should I, when I should play that? When, when in the time of like three days, I should play that because it's like it says you go to the it, it's available now, so I'm not available about this. Um, baby, Australia complete the Midland Monster Gallery trip for this to see Avitaki Ito and meet some old friends. <clears throat> okay, and I can't wait for that. So, yeah, so let's get to it for a needle story quest. Let's get to it, and I can't wait to see what happens. Last time we do a sign of story quest, it's just gonna be fun, and yeah. So let's just do volume on down. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's go see Nilo. So. Alright, here we go. The little story class is going to be started. Nilo! It's nice to see you again! Oh, hey there, traveler in Paimon. Are you here for some shopping too? That's right. Although there were a few hiccups here and there, the sub Festival turned out to be a grand success. And so, the theater wants to host a celebration event. Do you two want to come? It'll be a really fun time. A celebration event? It's something like a tradition of ours. Whenever we wrap an important performance, we'll get together and unwind. Rehearsals are exhausting. If you keep your nose to the grindstone, you're going to wipe yourself out sooner or later. Mr. Zubair, our manager always says that celebrations aren't just for fun, but that they should also be occasions for reflection and review. <laughs> but no one remembers that once the celebration starts. It's not like he can't also have some fun himself. We've been to a lot of festivals during our adventures. Yes, for some few years. Will your celebration also have lots of yummy food and drinks? Of course. We always do lots of eating, toasting, and gift exchanging. We try really hard to show our appreciation for everyone. Ah, so we'll need to bring a present. Uh, don't tell me you're planning to the free load. No way! Treat others how you want to be treated, right? Paimon already has a great gift in mind. But maybe you could lend Paimon some more of first? <laughs> hmm. It's fine. No need to stress, Paimon. You can come, present or not. 
the gift exchange is just to make the celebration more entertaining. You two being there would be the best gift of all. It'll also be a good time to introduce you to the rest of the theater. Speaking of, since we last met her in her dream, many more things have happened. Is something up? Did you run into any trouble after you dance? You mean when I danced at the square right in front of the academia? <laughs> Not a single person came yeah. after me. I left really easily. After that, no one came to the theater to scold me either. We actually gained many new customers, and they were all academia students. From what I can tell, in the past, if a student were to put off their studies to watch a show or dance, they'd be called foolish and irresponsible. But now, it seems like this attitude is changing. People are starting to believe that engaging with the arts can help them balance their moods, and through that, improve their research efficiency at work. Anyway, it seems like people have to personally experience something to gain a good understanding of it. They should thank us for opening their eyes! Hopefully they appreciate the arts more. That'll probably take some time. They're still droning on and on about experimentation and proof. Will they really gain more appreciation for the arts if they continue to think of everything like that? <laughs> anyway, all that aside, are you thinking about coming to our event? Paimon thinks it'll be a great time! What do you think, Traveler? Yeah. Alright, then let's head to the theater. Wait, I completely forgot about this pile of stuff. Whoa, did you buy all of this, Nilo? Just one box. The rest were given to me. I really don't know how it came to this much. That's way too many freebies! Many vendors give out samples for free, but Paimon's never seen this much! All I know is that whenever I start chatting with people, my hands would get more and more full until I can't hold everything anymore. This seems to happen every time. I was planning on making a few trips to bring everything back before continuing on with my shopping, but I don't think I'll have the time. So this isn't even all of it? Let me help you, Nino. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is like, Another little bit sick again. Don't tell me I get sick again. But I'm feeling better since when I got cold sick a few weeks ago. <laughs> From December since I got cold sick because my, my body is cold. <sighs> okay. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Of course! Carrying stuff is a piece of cake for her. Right, Traveler? Uh, I'm so sorry to trouble you like this. I meant to invite you to our celebration, but now you're helping me instead. <sighs> well, let's hurry up and grab the last few things, so we can get back to the theater. N Nino Story Quest to the wise. Okay. Mr. Jute, do you still have any food that's ready to go? Of course I do. I've heard that Zoo Bear Theater is hosting a celebration Zoo Bear event. Theater. So I reserve some food this for you in advance. This is, gonna, this is all about demolish to Zoo Bear Theater. Because the, for the order from I can't... 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 Although, it looks like you're gonna need two more portions. Huh. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce them. This is the Traveler, a very experienced adventurer. And this is Paimon, her super reliable guide and helper. No, 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 Paimon is... Uh, hold on. She got it completely right. Look, Traveler, she introduced Paimon correctly! Yes, she is. <laughs> Don't underestimate Nilu. She always remembers every last little detail about everyone. Even if it sounds completely trivial. She's also very brave. Just a little while ago, she saved my precious spices from the jaws of a sumter beast. Oh, uh, don't think anything of it. I just help out when I can because everyone else takes such good care of me. 
Anyway, sorry to get off topic. We're in a bit of a hurry. Mr. Jute, did you say you didn't reserve enough food? <laughs> I was joking. Anyone who runs a business knows to keep some extra stock. After all, orders get changed all the time. Oh, that reminds me. It seems that these friends of yours aren't from here. Have they ever tried any delicious tachin? What is that? Oh, what a fantastic idea! Mr. Jute, did you bake a batch recently? Tachin is a mixture of rice and meat that's baked into a cake-like shape. Oh, Mr. I see. Mr. Jute special spices into his. Its aroma is just so wonderfully delicious. If you ever see kids crowding all around Mr. Jute's place, you know he's baking up a storm. <laughs> but is it really just for the kids? Don't you often follow them in, too? I... I just can't help myself. We're two peas in a pod! Who doesn't enjoy some good food? You're embarrassing yourself, Nilo. Wait here. I'll bring some over. Mm -hmm. mm. Whoa! What a dish! It's sweet and sour and full mm. of deliciousness! Paimon can't eat it fast enough! Typical Paimon. No matter how many times I eat it, it's still so delicious. I wish I could taste it in real life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't have offered mm. it as a treat if I wasn't confident I in the taste. I wish that though. I baked a lot just now. And it's all packaged and ready for you to take back to the theater. You made so much. Is it really okay to take them all? It was nothing. Making one serving or 100 servings is all the same to me. If anything, I should be thanking you for helping me clear my inventory. You should pay you at least. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What kind of person would I be if I made you pay for a treat? <laughs> Make sure you got everything. Feel free to come back anytime. Hmm. That's just nice. I'm on starting to understand how you got so many things. Y yeah. Everyone has their own way with words. And it's really hard to say no. Yeah. Let's go to the next door. Nilu, good timing. I have the textiles you ordered. If you took any longer, the Sumter Beasts might have gobbled them up. <laughs> you and your jokes. Sumter Beasts won't eat those kinds of things, Mr. Offsheen. Jude said that some Sumter Beasts ate as spices. Were they yours? Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, really sorry about that. Nilu, if it weren't for you, I would have lost half of my profits that month. Trying to pull anything out of a Sumter Beast's mouth is like playing a game of tug of war. Hmm. So they really do eat anything, huh? At least they work after eating. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Come now. <laughs> you know, Sumter Beasts sometimes eat not because they're hungry, but because they like gnawing on things. The textiles you ordered are highly durable and woven from the finest thread. So, even if a Stumpster Beast got snacky, it'd still have to chomp on it for a full day. You've tested this before? But of course! How else could I be so trustworthy? Well, that one time was an accident. I wouldn't dare experiment with such a precious product. True! It does sound like some good fabric! Ho ho! Have I piqued your interest? If you want to buy some, now's a good time. Buy two bolts and get 20% off. Ooh, that's a pretty good discount. What do you think, Traveler? No thanks, Mr. Offsheen. You can't use that kind of tactic on her. Look, you've already sucked her in. A uh, tactic? So you mean everything he just said to Paimon was a lie? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. It's just that Mr. Offsheen is really good at spinning stories. A word from him? And you'll find yourself buying things you don't actually need. Mr. Zubir gave me a huge lecture the last time I bought too many things. Vendors should use manually manipulated tactics. Come on, don't look at me like that. All she got was a talking to from Zubair, while I was nearly fed head first to the Sumter Beasts. My philosophy is that stories give value to merchandise. That's why my business started with such a boom. Our Nilu here is an extraordinarily good listener. Back then, she believed anything I said. 
After a while, I began to feel guilty selling things to her because of how happy she looked. Though she enjoyed the stories and I the Mora, I knew she didn't need to buy that much. Anyway, since then, I've come to realize two things. One, that stories should just be a means instead of an end. And two, that there's more to business than just selling goods. It's okay. We're all friends now. There's no need to dig up the past. Hmm, that reminds me. Some of the goods from my latest shipment aren't in the best condition. They're fine for general use, but my customers have high standards, and I don't have the time or resources to find new buyers right now. Nilu, why don't you take them? Huh? No, 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 I can't do that. Just think of it as a favor for me, all right? The theater can use them for props and whatnot. It costs me more to store or ship, so I'm just losing money every day continuing to hold on to them. Even so, let me buy them at market value. Nah, these goods are hard movers. Besides, if I let you pay, you wouldn't it mean that I'm just shopping. using stories to sell my goods again? Just take them. If you really feel that bad about it, give me some theater tickets later. Oh, yeah, you should also take some while you're at it. Adventurers are always in need of materials, right? Wow, even we get a share of this? Hurry and take it. Just looking at it all is giving me a headache. <laughs> Thanks for the huge favor. There's still one more store. Are you all right holding on to that much stuff? Going to shopping. Simon, why don't you lend a hand? She must be tired. here was snooping around your props please i was only looking at them to get a better idea of what your new show may be about wouldn't spoiling yourself just ruin all the fun yeah please wait for our official performance hmm these two look familiar i think i've seen them before ah weren't they at the sub Zeru's festival yeah and they're coming to today's celebration too oh the more folks the barrier I was actually just talking to Farhad about also stopping by tonight. Mm. Oh, yes, please do. I'm sure Miss Raycar and Miss Nadja would also love to have a chat with the two of you. We even prepared a small gift. Let me show it to you. Ta-da! It's a flower wreath. I really think we should wear some of these to give the event a more celebratory feel. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Did you make it? Wow, she. Oh my God! Farhad did most of the work. We have what one too. Oh my God! I need a. I need to do that in my Gacha conversion to make it this thumbnail. I'm gonna do the Nilo story because oh my God, I need that. That is pretty surprising. Hey, we gotta love that. It's beautiful. The flowers on really it. I hard on that. I know. I know. I watched you make it. I wasn't making fun of you. All right. Why don't you also try some on? We've got some wreaths in your size. <laughs> I loved it. Yes. It's perfectly. Yeah, even Nina too, you look good. They're so pretty. Is it one that Paimon can wear? Unfortunately, we already gave out all the child-sized ones. I wasn't expecting the theater to invite such a fascinating guest. Fascinating? Huh. That sounds kind of weird, but Paimon will let it slide. Oh, you all sure got a lot of stuff there. Let me help you carry some. I'm a porter by trade, so this is what I'm best at. That'd be great! Please and thank you! Were you going to help out? But we have a pro now! Thanks for the help, Mr. Mm. Farhad. But let me make one thing clear first. Don't try to ask about what's in the new show. Otherwise... I may not be able to hold back Mr. Zubair this time. <laughs> You're so obvious that even Nilu saw right through you. Shut it. <laughs> Fine. It's not like I want to get on his bad side either. Including Hushang's things, though. We'll each need to carry a box if we want to move everything in one trip. Even my strength has its limits. 
Hannah looks like she doesn't want to, so I'll carry a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Although I may not appear super strong, he can he can do that because he's she's small. Strength on the small to carry in. Strength and balance are both really important. A lot of things is when we go to shopping. No, no, let Paimon. Paimon will help carry things. The traveler's right. Paimon shouldn't freeload. Yeah, freeload. Don't get freeload. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Paimon? Are you okay? Paimon's good to keep going. But Paimon now understands when people say there's no such thing as a free lunch. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that sure was a lot of stuff. Oh, looking forward to the event later. Thank you, Mr. Farhad. Thank you, Sumter Man. Thank you, Paimon. The atmosphere, he's so nice. Of course. <laughs> because everyone's working here together. We're all like neighbors. So we're always helping each other out. It's easy to forget that everyone's running a business. With this many freebies being thrown at you, you probably don't need to work. <laughs> I felt so guilty at first. Like I always owed someone something. I was always thinking of ways to repay others. Later on... I realized that it's actually like what Mr. Offsheen said. By taking the freebies, I was helping everyone out and saving them money. When you order the wrong item or make too much of something, sometimes the best way to maximize the value of those goods is to give them away. That's why there's no need to stress over the freebies. All of us repay others by helping them when they need it. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. This has become our norm, and no one keeps track of the back and forth anymore. So really, don't worry about it. All right. I have to bring all this to Mr. Zubair and do a little bit of prep. Feel free to hang out here for a bit. It'd be nice if you could also get to know some other people at the theater. You sure you don't need any help? Nope. Mr. Zubair is really on top of everything. You two are our guests. So please, just relax and look forward to the celebration. Okay then. <sighs> Mm -mm. Hey there, I saw you two helping Nilu move some stuff. Are you two also here for the celebration event? You got it! My name is Raycar. Yeah. Nadia and I are this theater's prop engineers. I also help out with some other tasks like housekeeping. The little ones causing a ruckus are my children, Soreen and Abi. I hope they aren't bothering you. They always get really excited every time we hold a celebration event. Adorable. Yes, they are. Everyone here takes great care of them. There's good work here, the pay's always on time, and Nilu and the others will often volunteer to play with the kids. I'm quite content with this current way of life. Um, do you mean your life wasn't nearly as good before? Time on. It's all right. It's all water under the bridge now. My husband and I were both adventurers, but he passed away from an accident. Material struggles can always be overcome, but ever since then, I haven't been able to spend much of my energy on anything else. But I still consider myself lucky. Mr. Zubair has helped me a lot, and the atmosphere here is tolerant and kind. Sorry for bringing up such sad memories. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. Once the event starts, you'll be able to see for yourself the kind of atmosphere I was talking about. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for the conversation. Next. Hey there. Hmm. Ah, a newcomer. Doesn't look too bright. Hey! Talk about judging a book by its cover! You, on the other hand... Hmm, you're a special one. How would you describe the concept of art? Why are you asking that all of a sudden? Mere curiosity is all. It makes no difference whether you answer or not. 
Is it the expression of our aesthetic ideals? So that's what you think, hmm? Unremarkable. Better than an average person's thoughts, but nothing exceptional. <laughs> is art a product that we create and bring forth? Or is it a naturally existing resource? I, for one, believe it to be the latter. Uh, Paimon doesn't follow. I've been staying here for a long time. On occasion, I'd assist them in penning lines of dialogue, but most of my time I just stand back and watch. I prefer to abstain from writing as it spoils the viewing experience. The existence of the theater, of Nilu, and of humanity itself, all of these can be considered as forms of art. It is not some intangible construct beyond the horizon. How does that have anything to do with us? Let me ask you this. What do you think is the meaning of art? <laughs> I suppose that question was a little too difficult for you. I know yes, about the art since I was college. I have been closely observing yes, you. Yes, I learned about that since elementary in the si audience. and then college too. Art is already all around us. Okay, it's your opinion. A lot of, a lot of, what is that called? A uh, lot of uh, describe or not acronym. No, uh, this uh, whatever. If you should describe about art, what this art is, you know. Okay, next, Inaya. Hello. What? Who are you? You can't just go on the stage as you please. Ah, I see. Hey, we're here for Sorry Nilo. Sorry for my overreaction. It's okay. I'm just, uh, making a prop. No time for chit-chat. Is that embroidery? No. Well, yes. But not really. It's a prop. It's just, uh, some fabric. An ordinary piece of fabric that we use in a show. <sighs> Sorry. I really do need to focus and start working on it. Sorry for bother you. What an oddball! Is prop making something to be that jumpy about? Oh well, it's none of our business. Look, Nilu's back! Let's meet up with her. The event's probably about to start. Sorry for the wait. Preparations for the celebration are finally done. I'll call everyone over, and then we can start. Let us give you a hand. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Maybe we really should have prepared a gift. Then we could also be a part of the exchange. As it is, all we can do is wait and watch. Um, maybe we shouldn't do this after all. I didn't do that great of a job, and who would even like it? Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before. So this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. Hmm. I'm still... not really sure about this. There's nothing to be worried about. Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? Right. Huh. All right. Maybe this will help. Everyone, over here! Inaya has something great to tell you all! Wait, wait! <laughs> I've already said that I'm not ready yet! Uh, what should I say? Take it easy and relax. Deep breath, in and out. Good job, Neil. That, this is my personality about her. The same personality. Say. Yeah. If you don't say anything, then all the hard work we put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. Using it as a gift, though? It really isn't that good. Oh my god. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present. She knows very good at placing herself. Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. But it looks like Nilu's trying to ease her through. Actually, Inaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. Woohoo! We're gonna get our first present from Miss Inaya! Pipe down! The louder you all 
are, the more nervous she'll become. You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. Don't be afraid. You've got this. Uh -huh. Is Mr. Zubair here? Oh. Sheikh Zubair, this is an urgent notice from the academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop oh, at good day. once. Okay. What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Since Zubair Theater has long violated the academia's policies and orders, we have decided to demolish it. Yes, demolish it. De de I mean, de demolish it. De demolish. Demolish it to the Zubair Theater. Oh no! As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days. After which, you will report to the academia. Sounds like the academia. Oh, wait. Sounds like the academia is having enemies to against of the disappeared theater. Nino is not happy about it. Why? Why force us to do this all of a sudden? I don't like this. Little girl. This is not the first time you've been issued a warning. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked, and now I suddenly only have 30 days? Are you serious, though? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. How am I supposed to explain this to my customers and staff? That issue is of no concern to me, Mr. Zubair. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can reflect on the reasons why you have failed to prepare for the scenario in advance. Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? The academia has never liked us. Yes. And they've never respected our work. That's rude. Them, what we do is all a waste of time. That's so bad. And I don't like that. We, they should respect and understand that. They need, she need, uh, they need more happy about it. This isn't the first time they've come by. They had asked us several times in the past to improve the quality of our performances by only putting on shows they consider to be sufficiently intellectual. But our audience isn't the academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar. If our shows are too difficult to understand or too removed from everyday life, nobody would watch them anymore. Mm. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihoods. If the theater actually gets demolished, many people will become displaced. Yeah, the theater is very important to each and every mm. one of us. Nina is supposed to be happy, though. <laughs> the way they're doing things is so scummy. But I also don't know how we can stop them. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Time is of the essence. So you should act with haste instead of asking frivolous questions. But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough! <gasps> Does your audacity know no limits, father? Huh? Father? Their family? Um... What's academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the Academia's name to threaten us. Let me tell you, even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. Sorry. Sorry. Wait, hold on. Sorry for the pausing, but... Yeah, because the, the the interruption, it was my grandmother because the, the, my lips don't totally need to fix me before I go to sleep. So, I continue. This is strictly business. It has nothing to do with where you are, what you do, or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. Wrap everything up and make preparations to shut down at once. Oh, no. Ah. Why is he always like that? This is quite the misfortune, but there's nothing we can do. That's it for today, everyone. Let's clean up. I'll go talk to them again tomorrow. <sighs> the storms that come out of the blue are always the hardest to deal with. 
Okay, so now that the Inaki Demons stop us before the celebration, now, oh my god. Oh, man. Sorry. I invited you thinking this was going to be a happy occasion. I didn't know that things would turn out like this. There's no need to apologize now. Yeah, it's okay. No could have seen this coming. Oh, Paimon just wishes she could have at least gotten to the food. Is what that guy said true? The academia has already given you many warnings? Yeah, I guess you could say that. They've always seen us as being meaningless. Knowledge is king in Sumeru, and their pursuit of it leaves no room for the arts. Oh, poor Nido. But if that's all it is, there's also no reason to go so far as to demolish the theater. It, so it really has something to do with Inaya. After Inaya ran away from home, I brought her here to Zubair Theater. She really talks about her family. All I know is that she didn't get along with them. So that's why her father doesn't like that doesn't like this very much. Even though Anaya doesn't like her of his father's attitude. I never because she was, was from like academia. This. If you did nothing wrong, then there's no reason to listen to the academia, right? I I can ask Na Naida to lend a hand. Naida? Uh, you mean Lesser Lord Kusanali? She'd probably help if she knew what was going on. No matter how nasty the academia could get, surely they can't win against Lesser Lord Kusanali. No, 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 no. I wasn't doubting her ability. I just feel like we shouldn't bother her with such a trivial problem. Unless, if the Dendro Archon were to intervene, then it wouldn't feel like our victory was earned. That's true. Who cares? Let's just take him in a fight. That won't solve, solve the underlying problem. Ah, uh, that's true. I'll try to think of something. We can't just let everyone suffer in a perpetual state of fear and uncertainty. What to do? What to do? Can you pretend to shut down, but secretly continue to hold your show somewhere else? Or we could go through a list of customers and try to see if anyone in there might be willing to help out. Uh, that also doesn't sound like it'll work. I think a scholar once be told me that difference can be settled through a debate. A debate? Well, scholars do love to use them to solve their problems, but how would that work in this case? We just need to prove that the theater's existence has value. Oh! If we can prove to Inaya's father that the academia's position doesn't hold water, then they won't have a reason to demolish the theater! I see. Yeah, debate. Debating him in a debate. It's a good idea, but which one of us could hope to win against a researcher? You, Night Nilu. You. Huh? Me? No, yes! No, no, no. The look at the their than faces. <laughs> oh my god. I can't debate. Divis are argu arguments, though. Nilu, you are only so stressed out right now because you care so much about protecting the yes. theater. I. This theater holds a special meaning in all of our hearts, it's irreplaceable. But I just don't know. Can I really take on such a huge responsibility? You'll be fine as long as you prepare. Paimon will help too. But you will be helped too. You'll feel more confident after doing some prep work. Believe in yourself. Thanks, you two. All right. I've decided. Yay. Even though I may fail, I'll do my very best for everyone's sake. That's our Nilu. We're rooting for you. Hmm. Okay. Let's head back and tell everyone what we came up with. Okay. Show can't say. Gather around the with the district. Let's do this one. Everyone gather around after hearing the thoughts. Trying to best the academia in a debate is attempting the impossible. If you really want to try, I won't stop you. It's not like our situation can get any worse. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. To Sharif, Nilu's approach will come off as naive, but that kind of frankness is exactly what they lack the most. Things might turn out differently from what you expect. I am in favor of such a romantic feat. No playwright will turn down a compelling underdog story. Sure, in fiction, but I'm not sure how well that will translate to reality. 
Uh, I'm not saying that I don't support you, Nilu. If you need my help, just say the word. Anything is better than just standing aside and watching the theater get demolished. I'm also pitching in. Let's show the academia that we have some fight in us. Thank you, everyone. Hmm. I feel a lot less nervous with your support. Not to rain on your parade. But my father is a real hard guy to deal with. He's erudite, meticulous, demanding, and exceedingly familiar with rigorous logic. It'll be extremely difficult to beat him in a debate. You all already knew that. But you just didn't want to hurt Nilu's feelings. But when all said and done, aren't you hurting her just the same? That's enough, Inaya. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I've ruined the mood. I just can't force myself to expect a positive outcome. Nilu shouldn't have to push herself for the sake of an impossible goal. So she's come from, from hard work. Yeah, it's way too early to give up. Mm. You're right, Inaya. We're up against the academia. Everyone knows that they're very powerful. Being skeptical might actually be the more normal response. But I still want to try. I'm reluctant to just let Zubair Theater go. And it's not just me. I think everyone else here feels the same way. If we're unhappy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Say what's on your mind, and do what you think should be done. If we fail after that, then at least we won't have any regrets. Mm -hmm. I mean, after all, the only thing we can control right now is our choice at this very moment. I understand what you're trying to say. I also have my own intense feelings of anger and regret. Then, could I trouble you to tell your father about our plan for a debate? You can still get in touch with your family, right? Yes, I can. Then, please help us pass on my request. I've never participated in a debate, and truth be told, I'm still not really confident in myself. But since we've decided on a debate, I'll do my best to prepare for it. I'll gather everyone's thoughts and let them be known to all during the debate. I, by myself, definitely don't have enough wisdom to beat your father. But what about the entire theater combined? Then we should have a chance, right? Right. That's right, Miss Nilu. Beat the bad guy! Justice <laughs> will prevail! Make him eat dirt! <laughs> you two. We aren't getting into a fight, but thank you for your encouraging words. I'll do my best. Well, right back there, Nilu. I felt that I might have said a bit too much. Anyway, we better start preparing now. First, let's see what everyone thinks about the situation. All right, time to pull everyone's thoughts. Mr. Zubair, we're trying to put together a list of arguments that might be useful. Any ideas? It won't be difficult to explain our position. They're in the wrong, and they know it. I have meticulously managed this theater's affairs for years, and I have abided by every procedure and obtained every permit. I did all of that to protect ourselves if something like this were to occur. I didn't expect them to disregard the rules altogether. This might have something to do with Inaya. Yes. I know, but anyone who's staying at the theater is one of us. If I can't even protect the members of the theater from outside pressure, then I have failed in my duty as a manager. In summary, you need sufficient confidence and strict adherence to the rules. At least for now, they don't have the authority to demolish the theater. As long as you double down on that point and force them to concede it, you'll gain an advantage. All right, got it. <sighs> I've seen many situations like this before. The Academia sure likes to get its nose into everyone's business. While you prepare for the debate, I will also prepare the theater for the potential aftermath. It's best to prepare for the worst outcome. Once you're done chatting, do me a favor and... Tell our customers that we're canceling all of our shows. Do we really have to? Right now, no one's in the right frame of mind to perform. I have to consider both our staff and our customers. This is the only way. 
Nilu, you are incredible. With your talent and youth, you had the least to lose out of all of us. And yet you were still the first to take a stand. I've never thought about leaving your theater, Mr. Zubair. I truly love this place, and I want to keep dancing here. I also want to keep dancing with everyone else. You're becoming more and more like her. Do your best. We'll do all that we can, and leave the rest to fate. Thank you. Hey. My teacher, she was an excellent dancer, but she's retired now. If we have time later, I'd be happy to tell you more about her. Paimon doesn't really want to talk to him. So, you've already developed some prejudices against me. And to think, I was just about to put forward a suggestion. Oh! Paimon will listen to that. <laughs> Although, I know not if you have a new answer to my previous question. Now seems like an appropriate time to revisit it. What do you think is the meaning of art? Oh, this again? They probably do need to tackle this question if we want to prove the value of the art. I don't know how to explain it. But all I know is that when my performance makes the audience happy, I also become very happy. Does that count as a meaning? You answered him so seriously. Careful, Nilu. This guy's ramblings never make any sense. No, no. Nilu's answer far surpasses yours. And it is close to my own. The meaning of art comes not from its creators, but from its audience. In other words, only art that can be appreciated by others will impart its essence and value upon the minds of its audience. This is something that the Academia can never understand. You seem to have many stories of your own. I once pursued the mastery of art, much like how a researcher would chase wisdom and knowledge. However, the more of a connoisseur I became, the less I felt I understood. I began to question what it truly meant for art to be un- I knew that Sorry, the most sophisticated works are often the least appreciated, and yet somehow that provided me with little solace. I remained even perplexed about this conundrum until I visited this theater and watched one of Nilu's performances. It was that life-changing? Everyone here had a joyous part in the overall experience. The actors upon the stage basked in the love of their audience, while those in the house immersed themselves in the wondrous ambiance. In all honesty, from a purely critical point of view, the performances here are exceedingly average. Hey, don't say something like that. But what bewildered me was how, despite the performance's middling quality, they captivated their whole audience. They captivated even me. I realized then that I had walked the wrong road. The mastery of art was never what I truly wanted. I left the so-called frontiers of artistic research and came to this theater. For this is where I can finally find what I seek. Art will no longer be a castle in the sky. Whether it be inspiring or entertaining, art must be appreciated by others to confer value. If art cannot accomplish that, then it is meaningless. When you put it that way, Mr. Zubair and I refuse to follow the Academia's orders to change our shows for a similar reason. To put it simply, we were afraid that our shows would lose their meaning if people couldn't understand them. I once stood in the spotlight, but I relinquished fame and acclaim for the freedom I enjoy today. I care not for where my feet may take me next, but Nilu, you need to remember one thing. You already stand upon the finest stage there is, and that is a rare gift that should never be taken for granted. You cannot give it up. Not even to the Academia. I understand. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Mr. Kasani. Dust the cobwebs away from the eyes of those scholars. Hmm. Thank you for that, Kasani. We to care a lot about the theater. Once you get to know him, you'll realize that he's actually a big softie at heart. 
I'll even help out with furniture repair and painting the stage. Wow. I didn't think he had that in him at all. Okay, let's do it. Next. I didn't expect you all to challenge the academia. And that reminded me of my younger years. Back then, I feared nothing and no one, and I was always charging into the most dangerous of places. I can't do things like that anymore, but those were some of the best times of my life. Sorry. If the theater really ends up getting demolished, then you, Soreen, and Abby will all... It's all right. There's no need to think such heavy thoughts. Even if the building gets demolished, its people will still all be here. Have faith in the resilience of an adventurer. We can always figure something out. But will you have regrets if things just come to an abrupt end? It'd be like when you were forced to stop adventuring. Ah, oh, so that's what you were worrying about. Relax. I've had a lot of experience with regret. Things are painful at first, but as they say, time heals all wounds. Look at us now. Serene and Abi are happy. And Serene is also just passed his theater exam. He can start acting soon. He was thrilled because he can soon perform on the same stage as you. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for our past struggles. And would Serene have become a happier person? That's hard to say. Are you trying to make us feel better? Yes, but I truly do mean what I say. Being here at the theater has taught me an important lesson. The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. I can choose to believe that my life ended with my husband's death. Or I can choose to believe that it was a blessing in disguise. Similarly, even if this theater disappears, a new beginning might just be around the corner. Good and bad are all human-made concepts. It all depends on how we choose to see things. You have a point, Nilu. I know how important Zubair Theater is to you. But you don't have to be so nervous. We're all here with you. The theater won't go down so easily. Thank you, Miss Raycar. No need to thank me. If anything, you inspired me with your bravery. You might have what it takes to become an excellent adventurer. She already had a first rig adventurer. You're too kind. All right, I gotta cheer up. I can't waste everyone's words of encouragement. Hmm. I feel a lot better. Glad you're feeling better, Nilo. <laughs> Good. My children and I will be cheering you on at the debate. That's all. Okay, inform. The customers are show being cancelled. Man, they're gonna be so disappointed. <sighs> You're stupid academia! You're here. Is the theater actually closing? He's been worried sick for a while now. He wouldn't stop talking the whole way back. Uh, hey, you two. Uh, what exactly happened? Did someone come down from the academia? Yes. He told us that we have to shut down the theater within 30 days, and that it's going to be demolished. What the heck? That came with no warning. <sighs> They're messing with us again. Don't tell me you'll have to listen to him. Come on. You know the answer to that. Yeah, it is a direct order from the academia. There's no need to worry, though. I'm preparing for a public debate with the academia. If I win, we might be able to overturn things and change their minds. Really? That's terrific. You have my full support. No doubt about that. Mine too. So what was their excuse anyway? They still not a fan of the theater's programs? Yeah, something like that. Good thing they have the power to make rash decisions about things they don't even understand, huh? Yeah, they need to touch more grass, not books. Exactly. They want to look down on us? <laughs> we'll look down on them first. Don't worry. Everyone here has your back. The academia's recklessness won't get them any praise. Right. They might think that some forms of knowledge are more valuable than others, but everyone can equally appreciate art. If they don't believe that, send them my way. I got them beat on this subject. Maybe you can prepare some questions on the details of dance performance to make things harder for them at the debate. Mm. So 
sounds like a good idea. Maybe that's something I should do. Oh my god, my back hurts because this stupid. Because I'm charging a pole and I'm checking it because I'm. This is why. I, oh my god. Ignore <sighs> him. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Just do things it. your way. No matter what, we will always support you. Thank you all so much. Your understanding and support make me feel a lot better. There are always more solutions than problems. If you need help during the debate, just shout and the entire Grand Bazaar will be at your beck and call. <laughs> Gotta show them who has the people's support. Hmm. I feel like the pieces are starting to fall into place. Let's head back to the theater and organize our thoughts. Sounds good! Inaya should also be back soon! Abby? Have you seen Miss Inaya? No, Miss Nilo. Miss Inaya isn't back yet. Wasn't she just passing on a message? Does she really need this much time? Could she have started arguing with her father again? Uh, oh no. Traveler, huh? I'm on. I what? think I messed up big time. What? What if Inaya never planned to come back? What? Calm down, calm down. It's just a gut feeling, but knowing her, she probably feels like she's completely responsible for what happened. She probably thinks that all of this happened because she was staying here. Oh, right. As soon as her father showed up, she said that her father was targeting her. So she's felt like that this whole time. She has a long-standing conflict with her father. That's why she ran away from home. She doesn't think that we can win the debate. And she doesn't want to implicate us, so she thought leaving was the best thing to do. So even after we decided to go, I mean, even after we decided to go to the for the debate, she still couldn't bring herself to support it. Mm-hmm. And then she just quietly left afterward. She too harsh on herself. Exactly. She's being too pessimistic. How will you know if you don't try? Anyway, first things first. We have to get her back. But where should we start? Sumeru is huge! I think I might know. Let's start by looking outside the city. Before I brought her to Zubair Theater, she was staying at a remote campsite. She got a fever from drinking unclean water, so I carried her back. If she has nowhere else to go after leaving the theater, she might go back and strike out on her own again. Then let's go take a look! Yes, let's hurry! Let's hurry and find Inaya. Oh my god. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay. And wait, hold on. Let's just try in night. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me just repair. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, wait, hold on. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Oh. There are signs that someone had stayed here very recently. Well, we can't confirm if it was Inaya or not. Is it Inaya? I heard a voice. Let's investigate. Oh, are you staying there? Oh my god, wait, where, 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 where? It's, 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 oh my god, the time! Oh my god, the, okay. Oh, okay, we have to Sounds hurry. Like we're getting closer. The voice is coming from over there. Quick, 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 hurry, hurry. We're almost there. Please, please, please. Where? Where? Oh my god, there he is. Stay back. Oh my god. Ah, okay. Why? Where did he go? Okay. Get 
die, die. Don't try to don't mess it up with an iron right now. Don't you dare. Oh my god, there's more? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. There we go. Woo. Thank you. There weren't so many big animals in this area before. They chased after me for a long time. Sorry. I'm causing trouble for you again. Why did you leave by yourself? You really don't think we have a chance at winning the debate? No. I just thought it would take too much effort. Everything happened because of me. If I'm gone, then the situation will resolve itself. But everyone else is trying so hard. Yeah! Everyone's working together towards a happier ending. No one should be singled out for blame. It's alright if it's me. As long as the theater won't get demolished. You guys are the kindest people I've ever met. You shouldn't suffer so much because of me. Listen to me, Anaya. Even if you were the reason that all of this happened, no one would blame you. Mr. Zubair said that you're one of us, so that means we will protect you. No matter what happens, we'll stand as one. Hmm. Nilu, there will always be a victim. Whether it's me or the theater. You can't eat your cake and have it too. You can't win a debate against the Academia. Especially since your opponent will be my father. Why are, you, why are you so sure of this? My father is an extremely demanding man. He's always wanted me to become an exceptional researcher and his academic successor. I tried my best to meet his expectations and did everything I could. But he still wasn't satisfied. Or rather... He had just never been satisfied with me. I'm no genius. But whenever he berated me, it was always as if he was asking me, why aren't you a genius? Yeah, like I'd know. So that's why you ran away from home? At first, I thought the father would slowly come to terms with reality. But he just wouldn't stop berating me. For one exam, I earned the third highest score. I thought that all my hard work had finally paid off. That I could finally make father feel some modicum of joy. I even used the embroidery skills I learned at school to make a commemorative gift for him. I thought, even this daughter can make her father happy sometimes. Right? I see. When we were embroidering your gift before, I didn't feel like you were new at it. Yeah. Sorry for not bringing it up. These are not pleasant memories for me. I was tired of him yelling at me every day. All I wanted was to see him smile at me. But he was more angry than ever before once I'd given him my embroidery and told him my score. He flung my present to the side. You think you should be proud of third place? Reflect on why you weren't first. I forgot how long I'd cried for. I only remember my parents arguing. My mother also thought he went overboard. They argued for such a long time. My father eventually stormed out and slammed the door behind him. I didn't get a single sentence of apology. I've completely given up. Hmm. We're destined to never understand each other. How horrible! That's horrible. This happens to me before in the dark past. I don't think beat him in a debate. Because he doesn't even understand what kind of place a theater is. He can never understand the relationship performers have with their audience. His life is devoid of camaraderie or friendship. 
He just wants everything to happen according to his wishes. As if the world revolves around him. What we cherish, our little place in this world, means nothing to him. It sounds like your past has had a huge impact on you. I understand now, Inaya. But when we were preparing for the debate, I heard something quite wise. Maybe it'll help you. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Wait, a bit. let's try it. This is like it from Act 2, since the night about Saburge Festival. Let's just wait. Give me some more time, a little bit, because it's difficult to think about it. Okay, what well, Rickard's opinion? The most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Miss Raycar has gone through a lot in her life, but she told us that she's very Wait. happy to live at the theater now. Although she ran into misfortune, it led her down a new path in life. She sees that as a blessing. She told me that the most important thing about an experience is how you choose to interpret it. Interpret it? I can sympathize with your unhappiness at home, but after you ran away, you ended up at the theater and became one of us. Those unhappy experiences allowed you to really cherish your bonds with everyone and also gave you the opportunity to become friends with us. Don't let your past suffering keep you from the new life that you've worked so hard to find. Oh. Let the past stay in the past. Uh, sorry, um, you don't have to be so hard on yourself anymore, but this is your big new beginning. When I ran away from home, I swore that I would leave my family conflicts behind. But you're right. All I'm doing now is falling right back into it. Maybe you'll disappoint him, but that doesn't matter. You have a new future waiting for you. Don't let go of the answer you worked so hard to find. That's right. If we put our heads together, there's bound to be a way! You're right. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm not trying to meet his expectations. So why should I give up because of him? I can't afford to lose anything more. We have to win. The debate will not only protect Zubair Theater, but also allow me to settle things with Father. That's right! That's the spirit! Let's go. I'll tell my father about the debate. I know him very well. Even if he looks down on us. I know how to make him accept. Alright, let's go. I knew Anaya is not giving up about this. Go back to Sumeru. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. And then let's go. Wait, hold on, wait, wait. Okay, let's go over to the this Okay, wait, here we go. Hey, you're here. Well, I'm off to meet with him. Please wait here for me. Okay. Looking forward to your good news. <sighs> that should be everything. The only thing left to do now is to wait until the debate. I'm not sure why, but I'm getting nervous again. You were great, Milu! Your words won over Inaya! Talk yes. like that during the debate, and you'll get an easy win! Thanks for that, Paimon. But I still feel like it'll be an uphill battle. I need to be calmer, cooler, and more collected. A lot of people are ruling for us. Yeah. 
I'm acting as everyone's representative, so I'll need to act brave, even if I won't feel like it. There's still one problem left unsolved. Huh? What's left? The theater is existing. Huh? What a strange question. Isn't a theater just a theater? Why would it need to be anything else? Wait. You're not asking what the theater does, but what it is. Well, let me think. Um, how can I put this? Everyone is free to appreciate art. No form of art is inherently superior. Ah, got it. When we were trying to find a way to save the theater, we heard many stories not of the theater, but of the people whose lives have been touched by it. Zubair Theater is our reason for coming together. It connects us all in unique ways. In other words, it's like a bond. A bond? The theater provides money for Miss Raycar and her children, inspiration for Mr. Kasani, and enjoyment for the people of the Great Bazaar. I will explain. It also gives Inaya shelter from her family. It has brought us together after taking care of every single one of us. And its story won't end here. In the future, many more people will come to the theater and receive its blessing. And we'll all be there for them. Our warm, welcoming community will show them the same kindness we were shown in the past. Aside from the delivery of performances, isn't this another reason for Zubir Theater's continued existence? Yeah, that makes sense. We definitely felt that warmth during the preparations for the event. But Paimon doesn't see how this will help in the debate. Inaya said that her father doesn't care for interpersonal relationships. Oh, gotcha! No matter how strong an opponent is, they'll have to go on the defensive if pressed on a weak point. I feel like that's another prong in our attack. Thank you so much. Paimon also feels a lot more relieved. Let's show him what we got. Sorry for the wait. I'm back. Things went a lot more smoothly than I expected. It didn't take long for him to accept the debate. And it's set for two days from now. Why are you all smiling so much? Did something good happen? We realized that your dad might not be as scary as we had thought. <laughs> we just finished our prep. Rest easy. It will all turn out well. We have to win. No, we will win, Inaya. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay. Wait for two, two days later. Uh, wait, let's just talk to everyone Everything else. is ready. The only thing left is to wait until the day after tomorrow. <laughs> I hope I'll actually be able to get some sleep over the next two nights. Right, let's go back to Grand Bazaar first before we go to the time. Hold on. Let's go right here. Wait. Go to the Grand Bazaar and then to change the time to do to this. Wait. Wait for two days. Okay, right here. Okay, let's just time two days later. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here, here, here. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, three thirty-four is afternoon. In the blink of an eye, it's already debate time. We did a lot of preparations with Nilu. Hopefully, they were helpful. Yeah, let's go. I hope Nilu is going to win. Hello and welcome, everyone. I am Safwan, a scholar from the academia, and I will serve as this debate's adjudicator. I swear to judge both parties with the utmost wisdom and impartiality. I will neither interfere with the proceedings, nor demonstrate bias. I ask for both parties to stand. 
May the Dendro Archon also serve as a witness to this jewel of wits. Since you so desperately demand an explanation, I will expound on the Academia's stance. You may have misunderstood us from the outset and believe that the Academia is prejudiced against you. However, the truth is that the Academia wishes for every resident of Sumeru to be afforded opportunities to grow and cultivate their wisdom. Therefore, the works they consume should also possess enlightening qualities and intellectual value. We have failed to identify these qualities in the shows performed at Zubair Theater. In other words, instead of struggling against the academia in pointless confrontations, if you had spent your time reflecting on improving the quality of your shows and enlightening your audience, Zubair Theater would not be today facing such a tragic fate. Aggressive from the get-go, he's really putting on the pressure. Can Nilu stand her ground? Hmm. Calm down, Nilu. You can First, do it, Nilu. Carefully analyze what he said. He said that we were shut down not because the academia looks down on the arts, but rather because our shows aren't up to their standards. We have to help her. Uh yes, sir. In your eyes, our shows can't meet the academia's expectations. Shouldn't it be the audience who decides if the show is intellectual or enlightening? Why is someone from the Academia judging that? Also, I believe that there is no such thing as a wiser or more enlightening performance. Art doesn't discriminate, and it appeals to all. Everyone has the right to appreciate art. Appreciation is but a primitive form. Satisfaction, guidance, and enlightenment are necessary if we are to induce growth in the performers as well as the audience. This stance holds performers to a higher standard and encourages the development of the arts. If all performances are simple-minded, require little effort to comprehend, and lack any impetus for the betterment of society, then the people will not be able to develop a greater level of artistic understanding. Nurturing the populace's understanding requires a long and arduous process. And guiding this process is the academia's true goal. He changed the topic without patting an eye. Good thing I prepared. If I remember correctly, what I should say here is... Someone at our theater has tried that before. He was a famed artist but he recognized that very few people could connect with his works. I agree that art should be enlightening, but we can't pursue that goal by creating complicated works. If a work can't tap into an audience's personal experiences or feelings, then its contents may as well be a castle in the sky. What's the point of performing a show that its audience can't even follow? That would only be forcing people to watch something they don't like. You can only reach that conclusion from a place of ignorance. In that case, before passing judgment, you should first become a better dancer than me. You tell them, Nilu. Hmm. Looks like he's backed himself into a corner. As the party holding the burden of proof, Sharif has failed to provide sufficient support for his judgment of the quality of Zubair Theater's programs. Likewise, the definition that Nilu put forth is but her personal opinion. Neither party is the victor for this particular point of contention. Additionally, I must request that both parties exercise greater control on their emotions. Keep it up, Nilu! You're doing great! Yay! In that case, I shall speak of more concrete matters. The essence of this issue is that you have violated the law. So you must now pay the price for your transgression. This course of action is also completely procedurally sound. We have already contacted Zubair Theater multiple times regarding the theater's repertoire. However, you have consciously ignored our warnings. Or perhaps your compliance was purely superficial. Regardless, that failure has indirectly led to the present day's proceedings. That is indeed so, according to the laws decreed by the Academia. He started talking about procedural stuff, so I need to focus on... Mr. Zubair has already provided signed copies of all documentation related to our operations. Everything is perfectly filled out and valid. Although the theater 
Zubair's performances don't align with the Academia's requests. The law doesn't say that Zubair Theater can be demolished only because of that reason. Demolition notices need to be provided in writing and made available to the public. Otherwise, the theater can continue to operate as long as its license is valid. Failing to follow these rules makes your stance procedurally unsound. Yeah! Yeah! That's right! There are different ways to apply the rules. There is precedent for this. So long as this matter is discussed within the academia, this course of action will come to pass. Looking at the past 27 cases of similar nature, 90% of them support Sharif's claim and position. However, the demolition process in those cases was only started after discussion at the academia. In other words, premature notice of demolition is indeed a rash act. That's more than enough. We've proven that the order is unreasonable as it currently stands. <laughs> Cease your futile resistance. Nilu's definitely won this point, right? She still can let the let down her guard. You're right. Stay focused, Nilu. Even if permission for demolition has yet to be obtained, it is a fact that your performances violated the Academia's policies on numerous occasions. Based on that fact, we can permanently revoke your right to perform in Sumeru. <sighs> Under the current system, it is indeed possible to immediately revoke Zubair Theater's performing rights. That's a thing? I figured that he's back a plan. Rather than protecting Zubair Theater, I surmise that your true intention is to maintain your hold over your audience and their patronage as your source of income. Without them, Zubair Theater is nothing more than an empty building. And without its performances, the theater has nothing else of value. What you said isn't true at all. Uh, keep it cool, Nilu. He is tenderly provoking you. Right. I need to keep calm, but he just a little more. Super Theater isn't just a performance venue to us. Zubair Theater isn't simply a performance venue to us. It means more than that. It's been our home for a long time. Miss Raycar can't go on adventures anymore, but she has found a stable career and a new life at the theater. Her son, Soreen, has already passed his theater exam, and he'll soon be our newest member. Mr. Kasani found a new way to look at art. He decided to stay at the theater to watch us grow. Mr. Farhad and Mr. Hushong visit even when there isn't a show going on, and they always tell us lots of entertaining stories. Even Inaya wants to stay with us. And she's starting to look forward to a new future. Zubair Theater exists for them. For every single one of us. Yeah, Nilo. Perhaps Zubair Theater has provided you with a multitude of positive emotions and experiences. However, you have misconstrued something, young miss. The interpersonal relationships you speak of were established upon normal theater operations. Sheikh Zubair operates the theater for his livelihood. His employees work for their wages, and the audience comes to enjoy performances. Relationships are merely a byproduct in this exchange of interests. They may be pleasant and captivating, but they can only ever be secondary. When scholars collaborate to solve difficult problems, we freely share our knowledge and resources with one another as if we were all kin. However, this collaboration ends after the results of our work are published. The reason is simple. We are scholars, and there are new projects that await our attention. He really doesn't think much of relationships. Paimon also thinks he did a lot of prep. He's been solid as a rock! Sharif's argument is currently the more persuasive of the two for this point of contention. The continuance of the interpersonal relationships Nilu spoke of remains hypothetical before the theater's demolition. Whereas the situation that Sharif described has been well documented at the Academia. The Academia has made significant academic contributions, in no small part due to its researchers' efficiency and ability to compartmentalize. Oh no, what should we do? Things are going in the opposite direction! Nilo might be setting, up, setting him up. A setup? So Nilo's got him? Good. He said what he said. The next argument could decide this debate. But, is this really the best thing to do? It might be too cruel to Inaya. 
She already agreed to this. She wants to win, no matter what. Mr. Sharif believes that interpersonal relationships are a byproduct of working towards a goal. Once that goal is achieved or abandoned, those relationships would have no more reason to continue. Then, if someone has failed to live up to his expectations... If someone has failed to oh. live up to your expectations and ran away from home... Anaya? Then she shouldn't be your daughter anymore. Right? Anaya? Sorry, Nilu. As expected, I should be the one to say it. You don't need to shoulder this responsibility for me. <laughs> if in your eyes, the purpose of my existence is to become your academic successor, then that goal has ended in complete failure. By your logic, that means there is no more reason to sustain our relationship as father and daughter. Members of the audience who do not belong to either debate party, please speak with caution. Let her speak. What she does not say, Nilu will. No matter how many disagreements we've had, the truth is that you are still my father. You're so immersed in your own world, you can't understand why we come together for the sake of relationships. Yeah, don't look down on us. You can watch a dance anywhere, but there's only one Zubair Theater. I'm almost starting to feel sorry for this guy, what with the idiotic things he said. Order? Order! Members of the audience, do not interrupt debate proceedings. I confess that this is the final argument we had prepared. Disown me, and you will win the debate. But before that, Father, I have some final words to say. I've been doing some soul searching. Not about whether I should have run away from home. But whether there was any point to my personal rebellion against you. I kept trying to earn your approval. But I only disappointed you over and over. The truth is, I ran away from home as a means to vent my recurring frustrations. That is to say, I was exerting pressure on you. And hoping you'd give up on your lofty expectation. But by doing that... Wasn't I just doing the same thing as you? Uh, <sighs> I won't force my expectations upon you anymore. At Zubair Theater, I have found the life I've always wanted. I will move on from my family troubles and strive towards my new goal. But if you dare to harm this place, then I will stand with my friends here and fight against you. This is not the time to space out, Sharif. The debate is still underway. You already consider them to be your friends. You should be asking us that question. Of course we are. Miss Inaya is a really good friend. It was a bit of a process, but we won her over. Make no mistake. All those who come to Zubair Theater become one of us. We will always be with her. <laughs> Such puerile simplicity. However... It is surprisingly a relief. Uh... Wait, what are you... Ah, uh, never mind. They left? They left? Does that mean we Because won? they're lose, because Nilo is win. We it's... won? Yes, we Nilo, won! you're amazing! Fantastic job, you also have a million too. <laughs> For a moment, and I feel a little faint. It looks like he still has a place for her in his heart. Terrific work, Nilu and Anaya. They likely won't cause any more trouble for us. Didn't know you could get so fierce. I have a lot of newfound respect for you two. Uh, this really took a lot out of me, though. <sighs> I don't ever want to do this again. Both Miss Nilu and Miss Inaya were so cool. <laughs> Should we throw a second round of celebrations? Hmm. Yay! Oh, it's you! Really? Any comment? Yes, I feel a lot better. The 
The more I think back on everything, the more surreal it all feels. I don't think I could repeat what I did a second time. All our preparation pay up. Yes, and it's all thanks to you. Now that I heard anyone anyone else's stories, I want to hear yours. <laughs> I see. You mean how fate brought me to the theater, right? Then I'll have to tell you about my teacher who Mr. Zubair had mentioned. Mr. Zubair opened his theater when I was still a child. No. There was a beautiful dancer, and from the moment I saw her, I couldn't look away. I thought to myself, the gods must have blessed her with such talent. But later on, she would actually smile down at me and say, just the opposite, in fact. The opposite? Yeah. She said, dance is an art born from toil. It isn't a gift from the gods, but a creation by our own hands. It is a beautiful thing born from our life experiences. Whenever there is joy or something to be celebrated, people will dance. In other words, any place where people can effortlessly begin a dance will for sure be filled with the blessings of everyone's happiness. She wasn't looking for flowers and applause. All she wanted was to see her audience smile. So that is what art means to people? Right. The same as what Mr. Kasani believes. I was completely moved by what she had said. So I started taking dance lessons from her. And later on, I began to dance here in her stead. Before she retired, she told me, For as long as you live, never forget what dance means to others. This mm. is why Mr. Zubair and I never intended to listen to the academia. Even though it ended up causing everyone a whole lot of trouble, thankfully, everything worked out in the end. I see. Mm -hmm. Although, I do have a small regret. Naya? Yeah. Even though she has already decided to stop fighting with her father, they never managed to have a real conversation with each other. Before he left, Mr. Sharif looked like he had a lot on his mind. He probably has a lot of things he wants to say, but will now perhaps never get a chance to. That might be for the best, but that's a shame though. Yeah, but I still hope that things can change. It never hurts to have hope. You and Paimon are more than welcome to keep attending our shows. <laughs> Who knows? Next time, you might see Inaya on the stage. Hmm. Are you so worried about Inaya? To Let's way. be sure to come back often. Who knows? Maybe things will have worked out for her. You two are welcome here anytime. Seeing you safe and sound in between adventures will keep me from worrying too much about you. I think I already see you two as people of the Grand Bazaar. Yep, <laughs> without a doubt. Okay, so wait for two days. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Ooh, ooh, she can dance. I, I love to see her dance. <laughs> Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our newest member, Hinaya. Uh, hello, everyone. She'll be dancing for us from now on. So please, give her your support. Inaya's taken her place on the stage! <laughs> oh, Paimon wonders how she'll look when she starts dancing. Hmm. When you stop and think about it, happy endings like this sure aren't easy Yeah, happy combat. ending. A lot of things came together to make it, make it happen. Nilu's efforts, everyone's wisdom, Inaya's determination. 
and Shrub's mercy. Huh? What do you mean by that? I think he intentionally gave us such a chance, though. Hmm. You do have a point there. The whole demolition thing was going overboard, but he really could have banned Nilu and the others from dancing. If he really wanted to be ruthless, he could have done some real damage, even without winning the debate. Oh well, it's not like we can understand how people like him think. Hmm. Let's focus on watching the performance. Huh? Wait, look who the cat dragged in! Isn't that Inaya's father? Let's go greet him. Oh, it's you two. I don't have much to do today, so I just came to look around this place. Hmm. Are you looking for Inaya? No, I am simply here to watch a performance. There is no need to trouble her. Should you be busy? Well, I was for a time. My loss at the debate caused quite the loss of face for the academia, so there was a period of unrest. I use this opportunity to suggest that my superiors temporarily suspend me from duty. Otherwise, the rumors would probably persist for even longer. Suspended from duty? Who's that? No. Okay, no. Yes, I am temporarily unemployed. However, I now have an abundance of time so I can afford to come here and watch a show. I admit that I do not understand the magic that this theater possesses, but my curiosity has been piqued. I still cannot forget that young lady's perseverance. Inaya would almost certainly mature in the presence of such a person. So you're still concerned about your daughter? There are no parents who do not worry about their children. I suppose she managed to hit a weak spot of mine. Never mind. I do not have the right to say that. You're already here, so you might as well go see her. No, that is not necessary. I will take my leave after the show concludes. Do not tell her that I was here. Father like father like dollar moment time cutscene. When else if you'll get a chance like this again? Ah, ah, but, but, huh? <gasps> there he is. You said you were going to make peace with your past. Show your father how much you've grown. <laughs> Reconcil, reconcile, reconciliation. Reconciliation. Father like dollar. My heart is well, melting when I watch them. Back. Do you think they'll be able to reconcile? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. A complete reconciliation may also not be the best thing for them right now. All those years of arguments and misunderstandings can't be settled overnight. It might be best if they continue to keep some distance for now. But no matter where their hearts and bodies may be, they will always be family. All I wish for them is to be able to one day tap into the warmth of that bond. Oh, by the way, everyone's really thankful to you for helping out with the debate. So, we made you a little something. Hope you'll like it. Oh, it is a bear theater as a place set, you know? Uh, isn't this Zubair theater? Whoa, this is amazing. It's a detail and polished. It's so detailed and polished. <laughs> We've also never made anything this complicated before. Mr. Zubir and Mr. Kasani took charge of the design, while Inaya and I made all the little pieces with the help of others. Miss Raycar and Miss Nadia made and assembled the centerpiece. As adventurers, you two will doubtlessly travel to many more lands and see many more things. That's why we hope that your time at Zubir Theater will become a fond memory of your journey. You two are welcome back anytime. 
Mm-hmm. We'll come back and watch you dance whenever we get the chance. Thank you, Audio of Concerterate. You're welcome. And hmm. there's no need to be so polite. You learned fast. Come on, take it. This is the story of you and me. It's a tale that I'll never, ever forget. And it's over! <laughs> wow. And it's over. <laughs> now that the, the, the Zubir Theater is not demolished anymore, we save it. Oh my god. The miniature that Zubir Theater said Nilo gave it to us. Wait. Where is it? Hold on. Where is it? There he is. Oh my god, let's finish it. Wow. I thought I loved that. I could put it that soon in the future in a tomb. Oh my god, man, man, man. Ooh, loved it. Anyways, guys, um, I think that's it. Need a story So, um, what's next? Uh, Oh, it's time for me the story quest very soon. I think we're gonna do the live stream, so maybe tomorrow. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six more story quests to go, and then we're going to the fountain. No, I, no, that's not what about it. Wait, wait, hold on. I mean to say, Mia. Okay, I see. Okay, uh, then we're gonna do the, the story because it's just uh, open. We were tomorrow, we're gonna do the live stream tomorrow. There we go. There's Mel City. There we go. Alright, Naida, uh, Naida, <laughs> what am I saying, Naida? Nino's story quest is finished. Well, I think we're gonna do the day, uh... Yeah, Naida's story quest we're doing a live stream. One and two, act uh, one and two. So stay tuned about that. And after that, we're gonna do the I'll hate them story quest, the, uh, Baishu and Yoimiya. So I can't wait. So, uh... Yeah, so let's get to it, but not, not 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 today. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell button, and try and be able to stop like that. To be the base of all of videos, you can have TikTok and anyone else. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys in not the live stream tomorrow. And see you guys in the next video. Princess Angel is here, and out now. See ya. Bye.